I know this is gonna sound really lame, but just do it. It has been a minute since I did a little sit down chit chat video, so I thought to end the month I would do another one. Hi baby. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, it's nice to have ya. So I wanted to just kind of sit down this week and talk more about creativity. Oh, creativity. Where's my phone? Hang on, I need my phone. So I want to first start back October, November time last year. I was feeling kind of stuck creatively to make these videos and content in general and just my own personal creative hobbies like crocheting and baking. I just felt very stuck and I didn't quite know how to get myself out of it. I've been stuck before and it's just kind of been like a power through and you'll figure it out but it's not oh my god my battery and I didn't charge the other ones okay we're gonna have to continue this on my phone uh so yeah oh please okay precarious tripod but we're gonna make this work so like I said I was feeling pretty stuck and some videos on my TikTok started popping up about this book card bleh, <laughs> called The Artist's Way and people were talking about how they did the workbook and it helped them so much they were being even more creative than they thought possible and all these amazing things so I thought about it for a little bit and I think November I found it at my Barnes and Noble and I decided to pick it up and try it and I got two weeks in and fell in love so if you've never done the artist way workbook first of all I highly recommend it but secondly there are a few things that it has you do every week in the book so the week so the book's broken up into weeks if you've taken a college course it's very similar to doing something new every week in college um where you get all the information at the beginning of the week and then you have to implement it throughout the rest and do that until you're done but there are some things that are consistent throughout one of which is morning pages I actually so this is my journal and every day you have to write three pages of like freehand writing and I do it in here and it sounds like a lot but it and it definitely is when you first start but as you get used to it and you start writing more and more it becomes so so easy and as somebody who uses it to help with writing it also helps me come up with different ideas to write about but it definitely isn't just for writers let me be clear this workbook is for anybody who's looking to have more creativity in their lives even at the very beginning of the book when she's just it's so loud outside i'm so sorry um even at the beginning of the book when she's just kind of explaining like how she made it and all of that she's had people she's had people that are like lawyers and doctors do this workbook and it's helped them be more kind of go with the flow with their work and it's been really helpful so that's one thing another thing is what she calls artist dates where basically you do something with yourself that helps you with your creativity and it's kind of like doing a hobby so you go out and maybe it's going on a walk going to the coffee shop 
baking some cookies, doing that crochet project, whatever it is, you sit down with yourself and you just be. Personally, for me, my favorites are baking, walking, and watching new movies. That was terrible timing. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. So those are my three that I love that I do pretty often. I'm not gonna lie, I really like it. So I got two weeks in and it was really helpful, but it was the end of the semester. I was getting kind of stressed. Vlogmas was coming. I had decided to do Vlogmas at this point and I decided to put it on the back burner, but continue to do those consistent things during that time so that I didn't feel like I lost to any progress. And it was so nice. I felt like I was prepared for Vlogmas. I was ready. I had all these ideas for the 12 videos I wanted to do, but it also let me feel like I didn't have to plan out absolutely everything. I knew I wanted to have an idea going into it, what majority of the videos are going to be, just to be a little bit easier on myself. But when I actually like sat down to do the, to do it, I realized I wanted to be a little bit more spontaneous, just see what the month gave me, see what the month gave me and go from there. It also actually made me want to do the revamp of the channel and do the new artwork and the new pictures and all of that. So I did that and I felt very, very accomplished. So I have picked it up back up again in January when things started to slow down a little bit because I felt like I had the time to do it and I have been doing really well. I'm a lot less in my head about stuff. I feel a lot easier to do projects I've wanted to do that I haven't, like my decorating rooms video, I think I've mentioned it. That video is going to be coming out at the last Thursday in March, by the way, um, just so I have a deadline to get everything together and I don't put it off. But it's a video format I've never done before, but I've really wanted to, like documenting multiple days over a course of a long time. Something I've always wanted to try and do, but I never knew how to do it. And now I have an excuse to do it. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I actually took outfit pictures outside of my room, something I don't think I've ever done before. And I did it in a public parking lot and I didn't care what people thought. And I am the biggest, oh, what do people think about it? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. What are people thinking? That is me to a T, but I'm slowly breaking that and slowly allowing myself to do things that I want to do without talking myself out of it or feeling like I'm going to like get mocked for it. Slowly but surely we are getting there. Oh I can't look at my notes because I'm filming on my phone. But yeah so that's what life's been like. I feel invigorated again. I'm so excited for this year to continue making videos for all of you, especially for March. Got some big ones coming. So I wanted to cap off this video with just a few things that have helped me be more creative in case you are interested. So yes, doing those morning pages and doing those dates are very helpful. You do not need the workbook if to do that. You can just start doing that now if you want to. I definitely recommend it. Another thing I recommend is actually scheduling time to do things. So I have been very hard focused on my work schedule for a while now. Um, and I have recently found that for my disabilities, one of the best ways for me to be as productive as possible is to do the work or work for an hour, take a 30 minute break, and then work for an hour, do a 30 minute break, and do that pattern. And that's been really helpful for me. So schedule time to do the creativity, but also make sure you have a schedule that works for you and allows you to, 
a do it without feeling like it's sucking everything out of you because then you're not gonna want to do it last the last thing is to just i know this is gonna sound really lame but just do it um i've recently heard the saying the best time to plant a tweet the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago and the second best time to plant it is now and I think I really like that like yes there could have been a time before where you could have done something it would have been the perfect time and all of that but second best time is now start it do it even if you only have 10 minutes to put towards the project just do it like only if you have the 10 minutes like it's at least something you're doing it for yourself and I think that's one of the best things that came out of this whole situation is learning to do things for myself and not feel like a burden because I wanted to do something for me. Like makeup. I really like putting on makeup in the morning. It makes me feel happy. It makes me feel put together. I don't put makeup on every morning, but I do when I want to. And I used to feel like that meant that I hate, I shamed myself and I didn't like those parts of myself so I'm covering it up but in reality I'm doing it because it makes me happy and that's what matters. So yeah that is today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Bit of a rambly video but personal <laughs> favorites of mine to do. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe it really helps me out. Here are my- I always pause. <laughs> But here are my social media links if you want to go and follow me there to see more day-to-day -day stuff of mine. And with that, I will see you next week for a brand new video.